welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. Now, I just just a note to say that, and I was just thinking this just a moment ago, and I thought, hmm, I need to put, I need to give this to y'all too. Is that you know flexing your spiritual muscles? Again, it's something we can't see. And in order to flex it, we have to read the Word. To understand the Word, to understand Him who saved us, which is important. And on top of that, the stronger our relationship with the Lord is, the stronger our relationship with Christ is, again, it is something we can't see. Um... The stronger our spiritual muscle becomes, uh, so there are things that are real that we can't see that we are very much a part of. And I know it sounds Looney Tunes, but it's not. So just just be vigilant in everything you do, and and just to remember. To, to read the word, to love the Lord, to praise our Savior, and as fellow Christians, be vigilant in everything you do, and remember to always have him in your heart, follow him, for when we follow him, the stronger we can get. And it takes following him to be able to tackle and fight down the desires of our own hearts. Once we are able to maybe not control ourselves, which is part of it, on a spiritual nature, which is, again, emotions, something we can't see. Once we're able to handle ourselves in a proper way, then we are able to help others, be able to spread the word and love him. And when we serve others, we're serving him also. So good luck with everything you do in these really weird times that we're going through right now with this COVID-19 fear. And don't fear it. I mean, Use your common sense. I mean, you, you don't want to get the flu and you don't want to get HIV. You don't want to get any of the, uh, the other diseases that are out there either. Uh, or viruses. And this is a, a virus. And I think what they're not exactly saying about this, I just want to touch on real quick, is that... One, it is new. Two, you may not know you have it if you have it. And the older you are, the easier it is to die from it. Which, they have told us that. So, things to think about. In the meantime, start flexing your spiritual muscle. Which means... Not just reading the word, but being closer with him in spirit. Again, it's something we can't see. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. And for homework, read Romans 2. Follow Romans chapter 2. Have a blessed day. Have a great morning. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.